Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Naveen here with us, who has been recently placed at Baker Hughes as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. Before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. Also, this was a super dream company in VIT. So all computer science and circuit branch students were eligible, provided they had a CGPA of 6 or 60% in the 10th and 12th, as well as a 6 or a 60% in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. So now let's go ahead and talk to Naveen. So hi Naveen, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, my name is M. Naveen. I'm currently pursuing B.Tech Computer Science a Specialization in Network and uh, Security in VIT AP. So it's uh, one of the campus of uh, VIT. So it's situated in Amravati. Okay. So oh, that's all. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process, how many rounds were there and what so, they comprised of. Initially, there were six rounds. So the first round was based on your CGPA and your resume. So mostly it was based on your resume. Okay. And the criteria was like anyone above uh, six was able to apply. But then uh, people till eight CGPA, I think they were qualified for the uh, next process. And process. That was also based on your resume. Second was uh, second one was your ba basic personality uh, based interview that was happening in a, your higher view. So if you are given a higher view interview before, it will be like a basic questions. So why are you good? Uh, uh, tell me about yourself. Why are you appro uh, considering appropriate for a particular role? Tell me about. Uh, what difficulties you face in uh, working on a project so and so. So what you have to be uh, do in a higher view that you have to be clear, sound and confident and also use a lot of technical uh, thing as much as possible in that. So the third uh, was your coding round, the third round was your coding round. So it was a technical interview, it, had, it was like around, not an interview, technical test for 60 minutes. So 60 minutes, uh, but it was, uh, uh, it was a time based, okay. So. 30 minutes was for your section A, which we had three questions. Okay, so three all uh, easy questions. I don't think you need CP for that. So one question was I don't know if I can say questions, but yeah, one was your easy lead code question, uh, which I I had already solved. Other two was basic your data structures. If you know has that as well, based on that you will be able to solve. Each question it was 10 limit time frame was given. So again, it, uh, the ranking was based on the time. Okay. So the time you took and everything. Uh, so and uh, 30 MCQs, 30 minutes. MCQs are pretty hard compared to all the uh, exams that I have given because mm. uh, since I knew Java 8, uh, Lambda functions, everything and everything uh, the updated this. So I was able to solve, but I don't know if most of the people could have been able to solve that. Okay. So so based on that, nearly for the next one was GD. So based on your performance on uh, coding, nearly I think uh, 130 people were shortlisted. And uh, uh, the you could see your results on the uh, on the platform itself. The pa platform was uh, triple byte, I guess. So we could see uh, how how you perform compared to other peers. So the GD was very important. So they basically shortlisted more people out of the GD. So in each team, I guess nearly 10, 10 people were there, and there was a probability that twenty percent people won't speak. Like out of ten, two people won't speak. But in other teams, I heard like only two or four people didn't speak. But in our team, most everyone almost spoke. And uh, our team in GD was uh, mine was team number five. So I think nearly nearly 130 people means again 13, 14 teams would be there. So in my team, actually, out of our team, two people got shortlisted in the final also. So it was like two people. One was I and another was another girl. Hmm. She was from Bhopal, I guess. Yes. The, after GD and GD they gave basic question. So for us, how would AI impact the education? So we had to talk about that. So everyone in our team had a good beginning and ending, and hmm. we didn't do any mistakes, I guess. And then we had technical interview. So the technical interview uh, for me it was someone named Samit sir from the Baker. He, he has like 10 to 14 years experience, uh, and he's working in the same company for a long time. Okay. So what the, in technical interview, unlike others, right? We had to write code and all. So in, since they already had your coding test, so here they were just asking your basic questions of your data structures and all on basic uh, uh, about your projects and all. First they started from your projects, then they went to your technical questions. Your uh, they asked me only one question that I wasn't able to answer at that time was uh, based on Python. Um, my core is Java, but I have worked on Python projects also. Okay. So they asked me one about the generator function, but I didn't ever use generator function in my anything. So I told, so I didn't, I don't know that. Afterwards, they asked me basic uh, Java questions and all, so I was able to answer that. Hmm. After that, uh, after this, I think 
I was candidate number 12, so one of my friends was candidate number 15, so I don't know how many people, nearly 20 people they may, might have uh, shortlisted after JD okay. for the leadership. Hmm. So this was very important, okay, so nearly 20 people are there, they selected for the final round, uh, the internship they offered was for 6 people. So mostly they have filtered everyone from the leadership interview. So in the leadership interview, first uh, there were two people. So one was uh, HR and one was a senior developer, I guess. So. Uh, I don't remember sir's name right now, but yeah, he is also well experienced and both of them uh, have a good uh, strong technical knowledge. So their questions were also more technical. First they started video projects. So I went in depth since I implemented all of my projects. I, I was the one, uh, I had group project but I didn't put any of them in uh, my uh, resume. resume. So I initially explained them uh, in a, in a order, okay, so hmm. starting from first project to second project, third project. And then uh, also I had experience, I had internship, so I also explained them about in detail, in technical everything. So for me, it, uh, explaining the technical stuff, I took nearly 25 minutes. Okay. After the, after that, they asked me leadership questions, what are the difficulties you face and that. So and all. So in that, what I did was, I was really fine. So the mistakes I did in the first years, actually we worked on uh, Smart India Hackathon, okay. So we were there and that, and like we were qualified in the first year for the, this. But again, after the after the college round, we had some of this thing. Okay, we were uh, then we were we weren't qualified then. But for the co inside college, we got we were the only team from first year which got qualified. So our project was basically identifying plot holes in the road. So on a particular highway. So so I told them what mistakes we did, why our project wasn't qualified there. So actually, we had few of the solutions there. But one of our solutions which we rejected. Uh, which means we saw the other team which was qualified actually they implemented uh, that uh, project so in there uh, the constraint which we left for the cost of implementation of our, uh, our solution in, for the particular uh, project so i explained about that so they, what they wanted you to be more frank whatever you did and also they asked me a few technical questions in that also what code stack you have uh, is was there any better solution that you could have uh, Hmm. Also, what they were seeing is that your project that you ever implemented. So, a lot of people you'll see they build a project, but they won't ever host it in somewhere and basically right. so far. But I did it. So, in my projects, I was working for this dance club and Android club. So, right. So, I had my implementation. So, I told them that yes, I deployed them in AWS and even in Azure and all. So, I told them how I did that. Even I started from the basic, like how to launch an instance, how to configure Firefox. So, everything I had explained that. So based on the six uh, six round and the HR was like they just called me and told that you are qualified for this and okay. yeah recently today only a few days ago we got the offer letter also and balance been checking this okay that's okay that's great thank you for sharing your experience and do you have any suggestions for people anything specific to your company or anything in general yeah in uh, in this company actually Baker uses what happens is. The, even the HRs are more technical. So you speak, uh, when you're explaining them, be more technical and uh, for technical interview, uh, do uh, speak whatever you are you are good at, okay? Don't tell them something that you are, don't know, if they'll ask you, if you have worked on something like uh, a project that you have worked on, uh, uh, like if there's a framework, okay? Uh, okay, if they ask me below. If you, if you know it, tell yes, otherwise don't tell it no if you don't know. So that will be very good. Another thing is that normally code questions will be done. So I have solved nearly 248 questions. Uh, most of them are easy to medium. So if you are doing that every day, if you solve even a, a question per day, it will be 365 questions, right? So that is enough. Being consistency is more more important. Right. Okay. Thank you again for sharing your experience and for your suggestions. Yeah. yeah thank you. Right.